normally bile is produced by the liver and it reaches the intestine by way of a tube called bile duct there are various problems or diseases which can affect the bile duct one of them is a stone disease these stones actually come from gallbladder and they can drop down to the bile duct and can cause obstruction to the flow of bile and patients can have jaundice sometimes several tumors can obstruct the bile duct the tumors can be outside the bile duct or tumor can be within the bile duct one of the important method of evaluating these patients with bile duct problems are by way of endoscopic evaluation at times it's not only for evaluation we at times treat these patients for example removal of the stone from the bile duct is using an endoscopic method called ERCP traditional ERCP we go into the small intestine and we visualize the bile duct opening or the ampulla and then we pass our endoscopic accessories through the papilla and we see under the x-ray machine and then we try and manipulate it we pass a balloon or pass a basket and then we remove the stone all these are traditional endoscopic methods to diagnose and to treat bile duct problems recently there have been several advances in the evaluation of bile duct problems one of the new technology which has come is called the cholangoscopy here we directly we visualize the bile duct we can see the interior of the bile duct we can see a stone which is inside the bile duct we can see a stricture or a narrowing which may be caused by a bile duct cancer which we can directly see using this technology called cholangoscopy traditionally cholangoscopy was with a mother and daughter system where you needed two endoscopies one endoscopy is to control the mother scope and the other endoscopy controls the daughter scope this daughter scope or the miniature scope is passed through the the side viewing scope or the mother or the mother scope and it goes through the biopsy channel of the scope and then we the other uh, uh, endoscopist will push it into the bile duct and we can directly visualize the problem with this system is that you require two endoscopies to manipulate and the tip of this miniature scope can only move in the up or down direction there is a new system called the catheter based system which also enables us to visualize the bile duct the advantage of this is that single endoscopist can manage both the mother scope and this catheter based system this is called spyglass technology there are two major indications for using this spyglass one is in case of stone during cholangoscopy one can see the stone and we can also fragment the stones by using a laser lithotripsy probe which are applied directly to the stone another use of this spyglass is in case of stricture targeted biopsies can be obtained also we can assess the extent of bile duct cancer so these are the two important uses of spyglass technology this is a patient of ours who is elderly who had a gallbladder surgery many years ago this time presented with abdominal pain and jaundice he was found to have a large stone in the bile duct which could not be extracted through the normal endoscopic methods now we have used cholangoscopy you can see the visualization of the bile duct you can identify the stone and now we are passing a laser probe through this spyglass system and we have kept the laser probe on the stone and we are fragmenting the stone using holmium laser and you can see the stone being crushed using this laser and biggest of stones can be fragmented using this technology and the success of fragmenting these stones and extracting stones from the bile duct using this technology approaches close to 100% and you can clearly see the stones are being frag fragmented and now after fragmenting these we can pass a balloon and we are passing a balloon and we are extracting these fragments which you can clearly see now they are lying in the bile duct this is another patient of ours who presented with fever and cholangitis and his mrcp and ct scan showed a filling defect at the lower end and there was a suspicion of a tumor now you can see the traditional ercp where we have got into the bile duct we are cutting the papilla to make it easier for our balloon to pass through and to extract the stone 
now you can see the balloon being passed and we are extracting the stone you can see a large stone being extracted and you can see the stone lying in the duodenum and you can see now shortly the basket uh, being passed and we are retrieving the stone uh, through the mouth and then to visualize it now after removal of this stone there was a suspicion that this patient may actually be having a tumor at the lower end of the bile duct now you'll shortly see the video of spyglass where we enter the bile duct to directly visualize this entire uh, uh, bile duct now you can see this tumor like tissue lying at the mouth of the papilla and we were not sure whether it's just a papilloma or a tumor and uh, we took multiple biopsies from this this was not this was inconclusive it was not showing whether there is definite tumor or no and later you will shortly see the cholangoscopic visualization now you can see the cholangoscope being passed we are manipulating through the bile duct and we are pushing it into the bile duct shortly you will visualize the entire bile duct this is trifurcation of the bile duct you can very clearly see the uh, images you can even detect any small tumor you can see the quality of the image is so good this is the cholidocal uh, inner lining or epithelium you can clearly visualize the bile duct opening and you can see the shortly you will see the cystic duct opening and you are coming back you don't see any tumor you keep coming back with millimeters by millimeters and visualizing the bile duct and you can see the cystic duct opening on the other side no tumor no stricture nothing else you are pulling the cholangoscope slowly 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 and you are reaching the lower end and you, we did not find any tumor otherwise without this technology this patient would have been subjected to a major surgery called whipple's pancreatic duodenectomy which could have been which was avoided using this technology we'll show you another patient who has had a gallbladder operation several years ago and this time she was pregnant and she presented with jaundice and she came to our hospital at sakra on the imaging on an mr we found to have a filling defect in the bile duct now traditionally we can't do ercps in this patient because of risk of radiation and she was early trimester of pregnancy now we use this technology of spyglass you can see a, a cylinder like whitish uh, substance which is going into the bile duct and we could clearly demonstrate this was a worm now with the help of spyglass we are pass we are passing a wire into the duct where this worm, uh, worm is going without the use of x-ray and later we are extracting using this balloon you can see the worm popping through the uh, papilla and we are pulling the worm and we could extract the entire worm with the using this balloon and spyglass without using an x-ray to our knowledge this uh, extraction of worm using spyglass in a pregnant lady without using x-ray was not demonstrated elsewhere major advantage of spyglass system is in treatment of difficult to treat cbd stone which are large cbd stones which cannot be extracted by traditional endoscopic methods or ercp normally these patient would have required a laparoscopic or a, a or a open bile duct exploration which is a major surgical procedure now with the help of this technology even biggest of stones can be fragmented using spyglass and laser we can fragment these stones and later we can extract the success of this system to extract even the biggest of stones approaches close to 100% another advantage of this spyglass system is in treatment of bile duct stricture or narrowings sometimes bile duct stricture can cause jaundice and there is always a doubt whether this is cancerous or this is benign cause the traditional biopsies from this area using the ercp or a ct guided or an ultrasound guided biopsy doesn't yield great results using spyglass you can take you can enter the bile duct you can directly visualize this narrowing you can take targeted biopsy and hence improving diagnostic yield close to around 